Roundhouse as a whole and what the Roundhouse kind of stood for. So we selected the statue or sculpture of its 18 feet. It includes um, two male, one female student basketball players. Your children and grandchildren may gather 50 years in advance in the future and appreciate the cooperative spirit that made this day happen. So a uh, huge congratulations on a job well done and, and good luck because we know this is just the beginning. We've seen 13th Street and, and what that can do and create the domino effect. And then now with this incredible sculpture out front, uh, it is truly just the beginning and there is so much momentum and I see it. You have incredible community leaders and, and this sculpture surely uh, marks the start of a promising new chapter in Marshalltown's story. The grant was applied for through the Great Places program and that was uh, awarded in 2014 along with that designation as a Great Place. Uh, as Mary said, that was a total of $350,000 here in Marshalltown. Uh, funding two sort of shovel-ready projects, again 13th Street and here at the Roundhouse. And everywhere you want to go, we usually associate all the great cities with something um, from the arts, either architecture, you know, you think of Paris, you think of the Eiffel Tower, you think of Chicago, you think of what we call the beam, it's not really what it's called, but um, you know, the apple is a graphic, and that's New York, and the Statue of Liberty. We're visual before we're anything, that's how we sort of make all our, our instant judgments um, as a society. We relate to things visually that we want to make us feel better, and that we want to see and experience. And it's more than just looking, it's how it makes you feel, it's, it's, uh, it's how you respond. Without question, it's created, uh, you know, the, the roundhouse always was kind of a wow factor of its own back in the day, but I think it did need something else to, you know, <clears throat> get people's attention uh, in this day of age, and this certainly is done, and I've had a number of my friends and colleagues, graduates and non-graduates that have come uh, through town since I've been here, who, you know, drive by and they just are flabbergasted that, you know, an Iowa Public High School would have such a wonderful uh, representation of life, really, you know, and, and being a, a student as well as an athlete there. Three, two, one. Yeah. All right. <laughs>